Watch out, Dominoes, I'm coming for you. Mm. Well, hey there. Welcome to another video. Today we are making a sweet potato pizza base. How gorgeous does this look? This recipe is oil free, sugar free, salt free, all sorts. So good. I hope you enjoy it. To start, get your one and a half sweet potatoes, peel and chop them up into large chunks and put them into a steaming basket. You could also just straight boil them if you don't have a steaming basket. Tuck them on top of a pot of boiling water and let them steam until they are nice and soft. All right, once they're done, give them a nice old mashing up. Okay, add to your bowl two cups of flour. You can sift it if you want. You don't really have to. And two teaspoons of yeast. Now gonna add in two cups of sweet potato. If you do have any sweet potato left and you want to use it up, you can just add extra flour to your mixture. Just make sure you keep the ratio one part sweet potato to one part flour. You don't probably need to add any extra yeast, but you can if you want. All right, we are now going to mash up the mixture with a fork. Once it's as mashed as possible with that, you're then going to flour up your hands and Give it a go, give it a good old knead. You want to do this until just before the mixture gets sticky. You don't really want to leave it till it gets sticky. Okay, so I have removed the dough from the bowl and I am adding a little bit of extra flour to the bottom of the bowl to stop the dough from sticking as it rises. I can't actually confirm this works. I don't know because I always do this so I wouldn't know the difference between a floured bowl and an unfloured bowl. Cover your bowl in cling film and leave for a minimum of half an hour. You can leave it longer. I leave it all day, all the time. All right, before you are ready to roll out your dough, preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Now here I am dusting up my hands again with flour to prevent the dough from sticking. You'll notice that I have divided up the dough already. There's actually another dough ball rolled out into a pizza in the oven already as my pet human was whining at me for his dinner. So I made his first because if he continued to whinge, I was going to tie him up outside. And apparently, just apparently, Humans have to give consent before you tie them up, so there's that. Anywho, knead your dough and then roll it out. If you are broke like me and cannot afford a rolling pin, then just use your hand. It totally works. I then line an oven tray with some parchment paper and then I'm going to add a little bit of flour to that as well to prevent the pizza from sticking. Okay, it is toppings time. So obviously add whatever toppings you want. I like some marinara sauce, a little bit of spinach because you know greens are good and all. Some gherkins, I know weird combo but I love it. Some tomatoes. Some olives for that beautiful salty flavour. Some pineapple because it's not pizza without pineapple. Don't trust anyone who tells you pineapple doesn't go on the pizza. It totally does. And I'm going to add some chilli flakes just for a wee kick. And I like to also put barbecue sauce on mine and cook for 20 minutes. And it is all done. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It's vegan, so there's no calories. That's how it works, right? 